I have another pair of white sneakers that I want to ruin. And let me explain. Here it goes. A's for ambition. Be what I want to be. See past the situation that's in front of me. What is up, you guys? It's Joseph Arne, and welcome to the channel, or welcome back. Either way, I am just super glad you're here. I have another pair of white sneakers that I want to ruin, and this time it's my Converse. I wear them everywhere, like any time you'll probably see me, I am probably wearing Converse, and like, they're the best shoe ever. Today, I wanted to try out some doodle art, and doodle art's super fun because you can just do it whenever, you can do it wherever you want, like usually in class. When my professor's teaching something really important, I'll probably be doodling on my paper. And so that's what we're gonna be doing in this video. So if you wanna see that, stick around and let's get started. I know what you guys are probably thinking. You're like, why did you start without us? No, that's really not what happened. I wanted you guys to see the shark, the wires, all the slime and all that. But for some weird reason, my camera stopped recording or just wasn't recording at all. I don't know which one it is, but we don't have the footage, so we'll just have to start from here. But you guys are in for a treat because I have three whole other sides of this sneaker to do, so there's a lot of footage. Like, trust me, if I would have included the other footage, it would have just been a lot, and it still is a lot, which is good, but, you know, sometimes it's a little too much, and I thought it was a little bit too much. Just for like doodling tips and tricks, eyes you can see here. Why did I say eyes like that? Like I said eyes, it's supposed to be eyes. Whatever. As you can see here, I'm using Posca paint markers just because I wanted very defined lines, tips, and like shading light and stuff like that, which works very well. But you'll see when I use Sharpie, it bleeds a little bit more, which is okay. It's okay. It's fine. But when you're doing stuff with fabric, you want to have defined lines that are crisp sometimes. And Posca just does that better because I think it's oil based. Don't don't Google that for me or do I don't know. I think it's oil based, so it just like doesn't bleed as much. Whereas Sharpies are more like alcohol and water based, so they'll just bleed. And they're really not meant for like fabric anyway. It's more like for paper and stuff like that. So it makes sense. But yeah, I was just using paint markers. If you can't afford like more expensive kinds, there's always like way better, cheaper options than buying expensive Sharpies. And I just went all around with a bunch of different crazy designs. I have weird little eyes and monsters and all kinds of stuff. But just a pro, not even a pro tip. I'm not even a pro. What am I saying? Okay, so what I'm about to do here is actually just add a little bit of green stripe with the highlighter. So you just empty out the highlighter um, pigment thing, put in some water, tap it on there, and it just somehow lets all the ink out. I don't know how it works, but it works and that's what I always do when I want to use pigment from a marker, but I want it to be super pigmented, as you can see. Here, that's like one example of why you shouldn't use marker on your sneakers. But I was debating whether or not I should color the whole thing, and I decided against it just because I wanted a more minimalist aesthetic, and it, when you use color, it kind of separates your um, patterns and like doodles into separate regions and stuff like that. But from a distance, I wanted this to almost look like a pattern or like some weird mosaic. It is a weird mosaic, but I want it to look more like a weird mosaic if you, that makes any sense. And I feel like if I would have done it one color, it would have looked good. But I just really liked the black and white vibe. Like that was just so cool and I wanted to keep that overall because I have like the way I doodle, I just do diff so many different elements and creatures and like here I'm doing a weird little radiation thing. and. It, to keep it cohesive, having the same color worked really well. If I would have done like multiple different colors, it would have been very distracting and hard to tell what was really going on as far as what kind of aesthetic I was going for and I didn't want that to happen. So that's why I don't usually do colors with my doodles. If you want to do color, it's fine. Like some, I, I've seen some really amazing doodles with color, but it really depends on your art style and what you prefer. All right, you guys, that was super fun to do. If you guys want to try it out, go ahead. Like, doodling's super easy, it's fun, and the best part is you can do whatever you want with it. Not only that, but we also got a super, super cool looking pair of Converse, and I did a bunch of weird little monsters and eyes on it because that's fun. More stuff like this, please feel free to let me know. DM me any, like, ideas you want to see because I'll definitely be checking that. 
what else? Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on all of my social media, and I'll see you in the next video. Um, G is past go with ignite the cash flow. When eights is put your heart and whatever's your last hope.